Willie's Winterland is a really kind of strange movie that has me divided in my thoughts for it. There's certain aspects I love, there's certain aspects I just did not appreciate um, and it was not as bonkers as I hoped for. Nicholas Cage plays a loner, a man who's travelling through this small town when his car uh, breaks down. Uh, he has no money and in exchange to get it repaired, he agrees to spend the night in Willie's Winterland cleaning it up. It's a, a kid's kind of party place. Um, it's been closed down for a number of years. It's filled with these eight animatronic weird looking mascots and all Cage's character has to do is just spend the night cleaning it so it's good for reopening. But it's not as simple as that. This town has a little curse uh, and it seems to be that these eight animatronic uh, mascots have been possessed by the spirits of some really bad people and they're looking for their food and that's going to be the form of Cage. But the Cage isn't your typical kind of character. He's rather stoic. He never speaks throughout the film. He's just diligently attacking his job of cleaning the place. And if one of these mascots attacks him, well, he's going to take him down in the most brutal fashion he knows and then clean up the mess. And I kind of liked the character of Cage somewhat because it does have good points and bad points as well. We never get a name from him. He never says anything throughout the movie. I like the fact that he just goes about his job cleaning this place and when weird stuff happens he doesn't even bat an eyelid, he just continues on uh, dealing with uh, whatever hurdle was thrown at him and moving on. And he's quite diligent as well as the way he sticks to his time frame. He has breaks planned in and he enjoys his soda his, uh, and enjoys his pinball machine and he, if his alarm goes off it's break time regardless of what he's doing. And the crux of the matter comes from people in the outside world, a group of kids who want to burn this place down but they can't because Cage's character is inside. So they break in to try and get Cage out and they are victims for our eight animatronic mascots to kill off throughout it. But there is some fun to be had in this. The violence when it comes is really fun uh, out there, and crazy uh, and quite energetic and bloody. Cage's character is a joy to see really battling these things. There's a particular scene uh, where there is a mascot about to attack a young girl and Cage is there and he's just about to kick his ass when his alarm goes for his break and well you know it's break time, it's break time, he just leaves her and goes. <laughs> it's just, it has little fun levity moments like that. It has a sense of uh, somewhat atmosphere and oddity uh, that I kind of liked but the story is fairly simple. There's not much to it. And it doesn't go as batshit crazy as I hoped it was going to. One of the things about Cage's character that I really missed, particularly being played by him, was the fact that he doesn't talk. I loved when Cage is unleashed and allowed to go full uh, crazy because uh, I just think it's brilliant. And, and his vocal inclinations and the way he does certain things is always incredibly fun throughout these movies but we never quite got there. This reminded me a lot of the Banana Splits movie. Great concept, great idea but just not fully realised as much as it could have been and whereas I enjoyed Willie's Winterland and I had fun watching it, I can't envisage a time of really going back to check it out again. That's not to say I wouldn't recommend it. If you liked things like Banana Splits or I hasten to say even Mandy it's nowhere near as good as that it's worth giving it a shot just don't expect anything um, to really resonate with you fun while you're watching it utterly forgettable after it's done with I'd love to know your thoughts on Willie's Winterland let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film